chilling tales for dark nights. Want to make sure you never miss a Chilling Tales for Dark Nights video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. I think I remember losing my mind. Not like the date, but I remember it happening. It was late one night, around like 3 a.m. or something. I had just left the club with my folks, but the night was weird. I started walking to the train station. I was used to being out late at night, but this night I felt different. I felt like I was being followed. And I kept looking over my shoulder. I finally caught a glimpse of my stalker. He was real, and he had on a black outfit. He was close and far away at the same time. I ran from alley to alley, from street to street, through backyards and over fences, but he was still right on me. No matter what I did or where I hid, this man was right there. Then I figured out how he tracked me so good. The spotlight in the sky was shining down on me. I know I covered at least two or three miles, but that light, it kept following me. The man that got even taller now. I got a break from these monsters. The man with the spotlight turned it off. I took a second to get my breath. I breathed the air in, but it tasted nasty. I tried to stay in my hiding spot, but I just couldn't take it. The air, the smell, the taste, it was just too much. I had to keep moving. I couldn't find anybody in the streets. Even when I went to the corner store, nobody was in there. But the dark man followed me. He followed me so close, but he just wasn't a tank. I threw drinks at him, chips, candy, but he didn't flinch. I hear behind some shelves. I peeked out to see if he was there. I saw him peek out and look at me. I jumped back in the cover. I had to keep running. I bust out the front door. And he was on my tail. I finally saw someone. The spotlight was turned off for a second, so I couldn't see him good. But I could tell he was looking at me. He waved me over to him. As I got close to him, I slowed down. He looked like he was a hundred years old in the face. But he stood up straight and strong. He said to me, who are you running from? I said, the shadow man. I can't shake him because he got the spotlight on me. Then he said, why won't you face him? Then the spotlight came back on and the shadow man was back on me. I took off running and looked back at the guy. He just stood there shaking his head. I 
I ran into the only building that had lights on. There were people everywhere. There was a guy at the front desk, and I ran to him. I told him I was being followed and that the man with the spotlight kept telling him where I was at, giving away my position. The man said, Oh, don't worry. I have a safe place for you. He guided me to two people. They walked me into a room. It was pretty dark. They said, You'll be safe here, son. I sat and relaxed while they closed the gate behind me. One of the guys said, we had been looking for this guy for, man, for about a year or so. I can't believe he turned himself in. <sighs> I guess you can only, you know, run from the man above for so long before you have to face yourself, right? Chilling Tales for Dark Nights.